Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Tony Torrance here tying a Mercer's Missing Link. I'm going to use a little ultra thread and a 70 denier. Um, this is a awesome pattern that has served myself pretty well and uh, the guys in the shop. TMC 2487 here in a size 12 for demonstrative purposes. I will secure my mylar tinsel up near where the thorax is. This is a pearl vivis. And I'll bring this up for a rib. Some people coat these bodies. Um, I haven't been. I haven't had any problems with durability. Secure that. I'm going to dub a little thorax of hairline ice dub in an olive brown. This has a unique blend of colors. Just take a little bit of this material and build up a ball because there is a spent wing version or um, feature on this fly. I'm going to wrap this around and just kind of crisscross it and get that ball built up. Now I have some Antron. This is um, a spooled light done Antron. I'll tie that and secure it on one side and then pull this other side back and tie it in. So, oops. Okay. So I got those wings there. They are going to get in the way when we do the rest of the fly, so I'm going to pull them back with a pair of hackle pliers and just snip that off to get it out of the way as I'm wrapping. We will now tie on Dunn Hackle and Grizzly. Now I'll put on my wing. Stacked up some deer hair, a couple of loose wraps. Snug her down. A couple more loose wraps and really pull her down. Sorry if I got in your view there. I'll pull this up, leave a few wraps in front. Put a half hitch on there just to or a single whip finish just to hold everything in place before I start to wrap around the base. So now I'm going to pull up these hairs and then wrap around the base of this with the hackle. Now you can put a wrap of thread on there. It's all personal preference. Um, I've just done it this way and I've not had any problems with the fly coming apart or having any problems like that. So, so I'll put a few turns of hackle on there. Whip finish. Now I need to clean up this mess. <laughs> and I've got fibers running everywhere. So what I'm going to start out with is this wing. And I'm going to separate these fibers to get the tuft up in the front and the tipped fibers apart. And then I'll just take my scissors and slide them down in there gently and cut that. Now leave enough fiber on in there or enough length on the tuft to hold your hackle in place. That's kind of important. And then you'll put a duct of or a drop of uh, head cement on that tuft. Wings I'm going to bring back and I'm going to cut them even with the bend of the hook and then splay those out. I've got a pretty heavy wing on this one but it's Mercer's missing link. <laughs> 